What's going on guys? John here from CrossFit Mohawk Valley. Little confusion, little breakdown needed for our workout 2019 No Week Links Heavy Walks. So it is a 12 minute time cap, meaning that it's a four time workout. I'm going to break it down using the prescribed weights and movements, but then I'll also touch on how the scale will go about it. So three, two, one, go. You've got your entire team, two men and two women, 50 feet from the rig. You will have a lane that is taped off. You'll have a sandbag for the men, a sandbag for the women. So once the workout starts, one male has to handstand walk and one male has to carry that heavy sandbag. The distance is 50 feet. That'll be partitioned off so that way if the gentleman doing the handstand walk stumbles or doesn't make it in the full shot, whatever he passed, that's where he's going to start again. The gentleman carrying the sandbag has to stay with the person doing the handstand walk. So the gentleman can't just take the sandbag and sprint all the way to the rig. They have to stay with each other. Once they have finished the 50-foot handstand walk and sandbag carry, the gentlemen that are then going to knock out 30 synchronized toes of the bar, meaning that the feet strike the bar at the same time and the feet come behind the rig at the same time. If they're not synchronized, they don't count. Once they're done with that, they're going to leave the sandbag by the rig, they're going to run down, and they're going to tag the women. The women will do the same thing. Only one female has to handstand walk. The other female is going to carry the sandbag, staying with each other, right? One can't finish before the other. If there's a stumble... Anywhere that they've gone past that last uh, marked spot, that's where they'll start again. Once they get to the rig, they're doing their 30 toes of the bar. They will also leave the sandbag by the rig. Once they finish that, they're going to run back and tag the men. The men will run from where they're waiting back to the rig, and they'll do 30 synchronized pull-ups. So chin over bar at the same time, arm straight at the bottom at the same time. Again, if you're doing pull-ups but they're not synchronized, they won't count. Once the pull-ups are done, the men then have to bring the sandbag back to where they started. And it can be the same person doing the handstand walk both times, meaning the same guy carries the sandbag each time. If you want to change it up and you have a team that's okay with that, that works too. So the men finish their pull-ups, they take their sandbag back uh, to the start line while the other gentleman is doing the handstand walk. And then the women will run down, they'll do their synchronized pull-ups. One of them will be responsible for bringing the sandbag back. One of them will be responsible for handstand walking. And again, they have to come across that line at the same time. That's when the workout ends, 12-minute time cap. So for the prescribed, you have a 125-pound sandbag for the gentleman, a 75-pound sandbag for the women. You have synchronized toes bar, and you have synchronized pull-ups. For the scale division, you have... A bear crawl and a sandbag carry, right? So no handstand walk for the scale. You have a 75-pound sandbag for the men, a 50-pound sandbag for the women. You have hanging knee raises, and you have ring rows. These will also need to be synchronized. So they are a lower-level gymnastics movement, but they will need to be synchronized. So start practicing that now. This should hopefully make it easier for you to understand which division you want to sign up for. You only need, theoretically, one athlete per gender that is proficient with the handstand walk, right? Because one person could carry the sandbag the entire time. That's perfectly fine. So let's get signed up as soon as we can, guys. Registration is open. We are super excited to have an amazing event. And as always, if you have questions, let's ask them now, way in advance of the workout. Have a great day.